we want to do is we want to take a look, uh, an early look at decor trends for 2019, what's hot and what's not. So you may be surprised to hear this. Karen wants us to say bye bye to pot lights. <laughs> but before we even get there, we're going to talk about what you should do. Exactly. So there are the don'ts and the do's. Um, one of the big do's is just being a little bit eclectic. Yeah, mixing and matching. So one of the things that, you know, a few years ago, these were very traditional colors that we had for hardwood. So m darker, richer, and the trend now is towards lighter wood. So what happens if you already have this in your house yeah. and you like it, but maybe you're doing the main floor and this is in your lower level or your bedroom level, okay. you can do different flooring on different floors. So for example, this one here is white oak, this is white oak, and this is maple. So the thing to think about is, it's not that the colors don't work in these two, it's that there's just too much grain if they're side by side. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that if you did this, where it's a maple, that color tone works together, but we're not fighting with the grain. That's so true. that's a good little mix and match technique. Okay. And then if you had something a little bit darker like this, then you might do something like this where the greening in the lighter one kind of pulls in the darker. Mm. So they still work together. Okay. So don't be afraid of doing that. Um, and also, I want to show you a picture from my house. So on the main floor, I did this one signature beautiful door from True Style. Mm -hmm. It's white oak, and it's ribbed, and it is gorgeous. So you don't feel like you do all the same doors in the entire house. Mix it have up. Have some fun. And okay. this is a real focal point on the main floor. Okay, beautiful. So we have permission to be eclectic have and mix fun. it up. Yes. Good. And what then else? texture. I mean, we've been talking for years about texture, but now we're seeing it in furniture and our built-ins. So okay. in my living room, I had it, you know, for the TV unit and around the fireplace, and I used cane so oh, it was nice. kind of your traditional uh, shaker style, but instead of the center panel being wood, you can actually add some texture with caning. Lovely. The furniture that we're seeing nowadays, too, has this beautiful texture. Mm -hmm. So this is a dining room chair that I have at my house from Oriented Express, and there's a cushion that fills it, so you, but you still get this beautiful texture. It feels good. It looks almost like it's knit. Yes. It feels good, and it, 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 I think it adds a lot of warmth to a space. Particularly when you have a flat slab kitchen. Yes. So it's nice to add that texturing because it warms things up. Beautiful. So, of course, when we're talking about what to do, it's hard not to talk about what not to do. Yes. So when I say mix and match, I'm going to show you a picture. So this is a suite of furniture, and sometime around the 50s and 60s, retailers got really smart, and they're like, hey, if I can sell you a sofa, I can sell you a sofa, an armchair, and a love seat. Yes. So it's... Please don't do it if you if you haven't done it already. Don't do it. And if you've done it already, take one of those pieces and give it to your I don't know your son, your daughter, your yeah. next door neighbor, or put one in a different room mm -hmm. because it's nice to bring in. Particularly if you have leather, it's nice to bring some fabrics because it's cozier. Mix it. So up. mix and match. Yes. So another picture I'm going to show you. This is um, a picture. I'm not a huge fan of tons of pot lights. I understand pot lights still have their place, but can you see yeah. all those pot lights in that basement? Lots of pot lights, and yeah. that's usually what we would go for that's because a you runway. want effect. It's a runway. <laughs> you want effective lighting. You want it to be cost cost effective and you want to light up a huge space. What are you suggesting So we by should the way, do? that's a before of a client's house. We're working on that project right now. <laughs> so, um, so I'm suggesting instead, like it's nicer to have a cleaner ceiling. So I'm gonna show okay. you a picture from my house and this is Cluse Lighting. Mm -hmm. And I did these beautiful long Ooh. linear channels. So, you know, you can get them in different color temperatures so they can be warmer, they can be dimmable. So they have mm. all the same you know, impact of pot lights, but you really have an opportunity to have a much cleaner ceiling. And what's cool about that is you went with that sleek line of lighting and then something a little bit more transitional for your pendants. Exactly. So that's really Again, nice that's thing to together. Again, and matching. And you can yeah. see that I have a lot of lighting on my main floor and it's okay to do that. Yeah, a ton of it. So the other trend that we see coming, so one of the things that I do is I'm always watching the fashion runways, whether yes. it's in New York or London or Paris, and we're seeing a lot of warmer tones. Like soybean is a really big color right now in okay. fashion. Latte is a big color, so these are warm. But meanwhile, in decor, we're still really hot on gray. We are. So what does that mean? It means that warm tones are coming. Yeah. And even if we look at the accent colors that are really big in decor and in fashion, they're all warm. They're all warm. Yeah. They're warm metals, warm. warm yellows and oranges. Yeah. So how do you make sure that your house stays on trend? Because we're investing. It's a big investment. Right. I love to mix and match with warms and cools. So this rug would be perfect. Yeah. So you can imagine, it's perfect right now. It works with a gray interior, but as the tones warm up and everything gets a little bit creamier, this still works. So this is from Karistan. You yeah. can also do the same with your fabrics. So pick fabrics that have the warms and the cools, and then your home's always on trend. I'm also gonna say one of your big hints is go glam. Go glam! Go glam. So I have a picture from my place. This is Brymar um, Drapery Hardware and it's acrylic and gold. And it's like you wouldn't expect it and that's what I love about it. It's this little hint of glam in an unexpected Beautiful. place. Beautiful. 
And you can do it with things like your accessories. This is all something that would you could throw into your decor. It looks really yeah. great. These are actually my grandma's servery. Aww. I don't use all of her, her items, but this is really great because it's silver. Very nice. And the little stool you see in front with the gold legs. Yes. And then look at these wallpapers from Maxwell. Like imagine doing a ceiling in a powder room with a little bit of this metallic. Like it's That's a little stunning. hint, you walk in, you get this little glow above your head. Yes. Amazing. Here's another big do, and I'm excited about this. Kick it old school. Woo! Yes. Turn tables, Yay! baby. Not like my parents ever got rid of theirs. <laughs> Hang on to them if you have them. So this is a picture of the Kempton St. George. So they actually have record players in all the rooms yes. and vinyl in the rooms. You can also go to the front desk and get vinyl and play it in your room. <sighs> so check out your hotel when you're traveling and ask if they have a vinyl program. And the one I brought in for you is from my house. This is an NAD, and it's just a really simple turntable. It's minimalistic. It's not hard to operate, yeah. but it gives you that amazing amazing sound at a really great price. Very so there cool. are great turntables out there. Don't feel like you have to spend a fortune. And then you can go to vintage stores and buy your vinyl and have so much fun with it. 